Hey everyone, welcome back to the homestead. Today we're inside of our home and we're going to show you how to replace a leaking shower stem. Stick with us. Well, basic plumbing is something that every homesteader should know. It's not relegated to uh, work outside like chopping uh, wood or working in the garden or even uh, doing mechanical work on say your tractor. But basic plumbing is one of those things. So today we've got uh, some leaking shower stems and we're gonna be replacing those for you. We're gonna show you how to do it. Okay, let's go over the tools that you're going to need. First, you're gonna need some sort of prying device. I'm just gonna use my knife. And that's just uh, pry this. Uh, cap off the end so you can get to the screw to take off the handle. You need a Phillips head to take off the handle or if yours is older it might be a, a, a regular uh, screw head. You need a crescent wrench or an open-ended wrench here, adjustable wrench. You need a pipe wrench which is important. Some thread sealer or we call it pipe dope. Some people call it pipe dope. I do. And you also Something that's incredibly handy are these special, um, I guess you could call them sockets. Uh, they are utilized a lot in plumbing. You can use them to take out your element on your uh, uh, water heater or uh, your sink underneath your, your kitchen sink or your bathroom sink. You can take the nuts off it with these. They're very deep and they come in very handy with that. And they're going to come in handy with these stems because these stems are quite long. So let's show you how to... Uh, take one of these apart. Okay, first thing we're going to do is pry off this end cap so we can get to that that nut. Should be fairly easy to just pop it off here. Or sorry, the screw. And we are going to just unscrew the end here and pop off the handle. All right, step one complete. Step two is to actually unscrew this. It's called an Etruscan plate or Etruscan uh, seat here. We're gonna unscrew that. You can see that this one is fairly old. You can see a lot of corrosion here on the brass and the brass has some copper in it, so it's that green color. Now, if it's leaking just from the stem itself, but not from your uh, shower head, you can tighten this nut here. And you can see this one's really, really loose. So you just take your, your crescent wrench and just tighten this up here and that will give you uh, some relief from whatever is leaking at this point right, right here. Now, if you do that, and you've alleviated the problem, there's no more dripping coming out from anywhere else, you should be good to go. You shouldn't really need to replace the stem. But in our case, we've got it dripping from the shower head itself as well as uh, here. So this was probably the problem here, but dripping from the shower head means that the seal inside of the stem is bad, and in, this needs to be replaced. Our next step is to go and shut off the water for the shower here. Okay, once your water is shut off, you're probably gonna wanna give this a squirt of uh, WD-40 just to loosen up some of that corrosion back there if it's gonna be difficult to take off. You're gonna wanna choose your correct socket and uh, your pipe wrench. We're gonna put this on here and give it a little twist and hopefully she'll pop off quite easily. So in this case here, you can see this is stamped PP for Price Fister. And on the opposite side here, it has a number. This is a little hard to make out. I believe it's a 3204. Sorry about the focus here. 3204. So you're going to want to get to your store and find one that is compatible with this. If they don't, if you cannot find this exact one, you're going to have to find one that is threaded the same here. It's got the same thread depth and has the same 
uh, layout, the same length. Um, this portion here for your escutcheon plate, and I think I said Etruscan before, that's for a sprinkler system. So escutcheon plate right there, and so on and so forth. All right, our next step here is to put some pipe dope here on the threads all the way around and get so it gets a great seal on it. We're going to push that into the threads and then we're going to take our excess on our finger here and reach in on the uh, female side and just put the rest of that pipe dope on there. So you can see we've got new o-rings on here and I don't know if you saw on the old one here but it was these rings are started to get really really um, there's a lot of indentations and put uh, areas that are pushed in and kind of worn away here and that's probably why she was leaking also on in the inside of the uh, the actual stem itself you've got some um, additional some additional o-rings that are probably have gone bad over time. I'm, I'm sure this is about 35 years old. So we're just going to take it and we're going to thread it in right back into our female end on our pipe coming up the wall. Just get that a nice hand tighten first. Put your pipe wrench on here and give it a proper tightening. Make sure this nut is also properly tightened here. Now this shouldn't leak uh, being a new faucet and this will also adjust the, the strength at which you need to really crank on this handle. Now this one is fairly stiff. I could loosen this up on this one a little bit but it feels good. So that nut will adjust how, how much strength you really need to put into this handle right here to turn it. And obviously if it's too loose, then it's going to leak out of this area. So you don't want it too loose. Our next step here is to replace our escutcheon plate. Just screw it on in this particular price fister model. It just screws on like this. We're going to put our handle back on here. That fits much better now that it isn't corroded. Tighten down the screw, your handle, pop your cap back on, and you should be good to go. That's all you need to know for replacing a, a shower spindle or stem, whatever you call it, in your neck of the woods. Turn your water back on, check for any leaks anywhere. If there are, make the proper adjustments, tighten in those places I told you to, and you should be good to go. Hope you enjoyed the video. We're thankful that you are here. And you know what? We want you here on a permanent basis. We really do. Subscribe to our channel. We've got a lot of great videos here. We do a lot of great content. We think all the time. And if you think this is good content, give us a thumbs up. It really, really helps out the channel. It tells YouTube that uh, this is a good video and a good channel and it'll bump us up in the rankings and that helps out a lot. Also go in the description and check out uh, some of our liked tools. I mean, we've got a ton of tools here on the homestead and that's something you need a lot of. All these tools we recommend are in our Amazon store so you can click on the link there to go to our Amazon store and check out some of those recommended um, uh, tools. They don't cost you a cent extra. We just get paid a small tiny commission uh, for any sales that you uh, do on Amazon through that link. So that helps us out and helps our family out. Thank you so much and we will see you on the next video. Have a great day. Bye.